I culturally identify as Vietnamese American or Asian American. I'm Mexican American. I culturally identify myself as Filipino American or Asian American. I definitely think that my community is more of a salad bowl because it's very diverse here in El Cajon and we all are able to appreciate everyone's culture together. Being Mexican-American, I know both languages, but I know that if there were one person and they only know how to speak Spanish, they would feel it's more separated rather than the whole community being just one. I personally believe that El Cajon is more of a salad bowl type of thing just because I know in some schools, much like El Cajon Valley High School, celebrate different diversities and different cultures through Multicultural Week. My culture definitely shapes me as a person because it really adds to what my beliefs are and my morals overall. And because I'm Buddhist and Vietnamese, I definitely do believe in reincarnation and much more. I don't necessarily face any challenges being Vietnamese American, but I do face challenges being Asian American, especially with COVID going on and the racial stereotypes of like being an Asian driver or just being Asian overall and like how, what we eat. I personally haven't faced any challenges um, being Mexican American, but I have seen like racial things going on before. Like I've seen things on the internet and I feel like there are challenges for others, but personally I haven't struggled with anything. All of um, elementary school, I was always called names like chink or I would be called racial slurs and such more. And I would get made fun of for eating dog even though I don't ever touch it. There have been instances where people are racist against Asians and especially in big cities where they're where the elderly are brutally attacked and it's just it's just difficult and then especially because Asian racism is normalized and people don't even try to understand the differences between Asian cultures. It's really important to me to keep my cultural identity because I just believe that it makes you different from everyone else and I find it really important to be able to know where you came from. I definitely would pass on my culture to my kids. I think it's best to keep your cultural identity because there are kids like me who have gone to schools who are more predominantly white and so for me I lost in touch with my culture and I wasn't able to learn the language as well as I would have if I went to a diverse school. I would probably keep my cultural identity just because um, like my parents are both Mexican fully so I learned from them and I would definitely pass this on to my kids. My favorite part about my culture is definitely Lunar New Year or as would say in my language that it's just a celebration of the new year and it's really nice because there's food, there's dancers, seniors, and much more. My favorite part about my culture is the food, like a lot of people. <laughs> and I really like the dessert aspect of it just because of the different rice dishes that are accumulated into it. And I also really like the drinks and I really love the buko pandan sago, which is like it's a pandan coconut drink and then sago is kind of like boba but not really. It's just the same consistency but that's my favorite part about it. My favorite part about my culture is probably knowing that like I have a pretty big family. <laughs> I feel like it's like it's not just Mexican families. I feel like it's like for a lot of cultures they have like a big family like they they really honor those. And I think that's what I like most, like loyalty towards family. That's probably what I like most. To conclude, it doesn't really matter whether you think your community is a salad bowl or a melting pot, because what is important is that cultural diversity enriches human experience, and it is great to celebrate our differences and cherish our similarities. Chào các bạn, tên em là Selena. Em chúc các bạn sức khỏe dồi dào năm nay. Ako po si Natasha, magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi. Sana maayos kayo lahat.